Hey, welcome to Birchwood Virtual Camp. My name is Pastor Doug Hanlong, and I'm so excited you're uh, joining us uh, today. I know this isn't perfect. This isn't an ideal situation, but we are here at Birchwood, as with so many other camps uh, around uh, and across our country, uh, creating community, bringing people together. Um, chances are you're here because you were uh, invited. Somebody says, hey, come check us out. Hey, look at this. Hey, uh, here's a link. Uh, give this a look. Um, or maybe you said, somebody said, hey, you need to go do this. Um, one way or another, it's you were invited. You were welcomed. You were encouraged. Uh, Jesus calls to his disciples, um, and we have a number of different places in Scripture where we see that happen. And, and one is chapter 6 of, of Luke, uh, verses 12 through 16, and I'm going to read those. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he de also designated apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Jesus went to a mountainside to pray, and when the morning came, he called to the disciples. One other translation says he summoned them. He uh, invited them. But invited them to what? Invited them to what? He doesn't say he invited them to preach. He invited them to teach. He invited them to heal. He didn't even say it in this invitation, uh, come and follow me. Uh, we would read that in, in other instances in Scripture, but here it's just, he called to them. And what? And what? What are we supposed to do? How many of us feel like we, we, we just need to do something? We've been bottled up, we've been boxed up for the last, for how long now? It feels like for weeks, if not months, some of us have not been able to go and be with our friends. We can't have been able to go and, and just do what we want to do. We can't go to, to, to restaurants or public places. We're not at camp together because of this, the coronavirus, COVID-19. We feel like we want to do something. We want to bust out and do something. Maybe Jesus is showing us exactly what he wants us to do. The very first verse that he says here, uh, it, it says he was doing is he was praying. He was praying. How many of us pray to prepare us for something? We pray for the big test. We pray because something scary is happening in it and we wanna be get, get ourselves girded up and ready. We, we pray when uh, an event, uh, before an event. My family, we always used to pray before a big road trip. We, when we get in the car and travel together, praying before something as if, as if prayer is getting us ready for a bigger thing. Uh, the writer and, and, and theologian Oswald Chambers says this, prayer does not prepare us for the greater work. Prayer is the greater work. Prayer isn't to, to prepare us for the greater things to come. Prayer is that greater thing. I wanna invite you uh, for uh, our, our time together, whether it be today or tomorrow or in the days to come, that you make prayer a central uh, part of who and what we are and do together. Although we can't be together, although we can't uh, be joining together around campfires and meals or for activities, we can be unified in the spirit of prayer. Pray for each other. Pray for those, your friends that you'd hope to see. Pray for uh, those uh, for Birchwood Camp. Pray for our interns who've been working to create videos. Pray for uh, Relena. Pray for all, you, you, anybody you can think of. Prayer, it's the greater thing. It doesn't just prepare us for a greater thing. Prayer is the greater thing. And I invite you uh, to do that. So we pray. God, we pray that uh, you would show us how to pray. Uh, show us who to pray for and give us the words because we don't always have the words, but stir our spirits and show us how to pray uh, for uh, our friends, for our family, for Birchwood Camp, for our churches, for our neighbors, for those who are sick, uh, for those who help uh, to fight uh, sickness. God, we lift all our prayers to you. In Jesus' name, amen.
We're glad that you're here. Hope you have a great time. Uh, and uh, we'll see you later. God bless.